What's the deal, you two? Bitch, your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Um, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. We are going to do this really, really quickly and really, really efficiently because I only have 16 minutes on, on my recorder and I want to make sure that I get to say... Um, everything I need to say. Um, first of all, this video is about Iyanla's Fix My Life and she had Kamaya Mobley on who was the young lady who was kidnapped uh, when she was eight days old and she is now a 19 year old young adult. And um, this was supposed to be all about, you know, bringing some type of healing um, to a very, very, very traumatic situation. Now, I did something I normally don't do, which is watch a lot of other people's videos and commentary. Um, and one of the reasons why is because I needed to have the conversation from other people with myself and my rebuttal and my thought processes and things like that. This is how I process. Um, and so I feel like now I can I can come in and talk about it. And I feel like um, the heaviness that I feel for this poor young lady um, will kind of be lifted a little bit because I'm able to talk about my feelings about it. Um, I was, I was, I was, I was taken aback when, when the show ended the way that it did, because I was really, really hoping that this young lady could get some type of relief. Um, but you know, that did not necessarily happen. And now we're in this tailspin where everybody is taking a little bite out of the story. Um, and you know, we still may not get any type of healing in this process. And at the end of the day, that's to me, that's the greater, that's the greater, um, issue is that what about this young woman? You know, we all have to put ourselves aside, not just as people viewing from the outside, but her bio mom and dad need to put themselves aside. I know it's not right. It's not fair. They've already gone 19 years without their daughter. I get that. I really, really do. I understand that. But but what can we do that is best for Kamaya? What can we do that's best for Kamaya? What is best for Kamaya? I I feel like one of the things, and I don't feel like Iyanla fell short a lot. I've heard people say a lot of negative things about um, Iyanla about her um, techniques and the way she does things, you know, maybe questioning her educational background and things like that. Um, to me, there are some things that cannot be learned. There are some things that's just a gifting and a calling. And a lot of times people have a problem with that. People have a problem with something that they cannot quantify. Okay, so there's that. Is she perfect? No, none of us are. Is she always right? No, that will make her perfect and none of us are. You know, I mean, we all fall short. You know, it is what it is. Um, I feel like one of the things that she could have done that I think would have been better, it may, may not have been expedient for the show, but I think it would have been better. This type of situation is so complicated. I think it would have been better to give us more background on this young lady. I wanted to know what type of person she was in high school. Was she in activities? Um, somebody paid for them braces. Braces are not cheap. What was her lifestyle with her mom like? She's saying it was cool, calm, and copacetic. We didn't have a statement from the kidnapper mom, and we didn't have an interview from the kidnapper mom. I don't, I don't know how we can get an accurate picture of who this young lady was as a teen without someone who was present during that time period, okay? Um, so I just felt like there, there was more that we could have had to flesh this story out a little better that the, the presentation could have been better from that perspective to me. Um, I never, from the moment the young lady walked in the house, bought that sort of quiet, waspy, whispery type of voice she was giving, that little girl voice. I didn't buy that because I could look at her and tell, you know, I could look at her and tell that she wasn't, you know what I'm saying? 
you know what I'm saying, she wasn't, you know, um, pigtails and, and, and gumdrops and unicorns and stuffed animals. I could just look at her and tell that. Um, I could look at her, the kind of man her boyfriend appeared to be. Um, first of all, he didn't have a, a word to say. He had little to no facial expression. He looked like, you know, she wound him up in the back and sent him off. He, he didn't even give a lot of eye contact. You know, so uh, that was another another red flag for me. Um, and I felt like she was saying a lot of the things that maybe she thought she was supposed to say. Now, she's got a little experience with this because you came from being Alexis to being Kamaya. You allowing these people to call you Kamaya successfully. Um, and you admit out of your own mouth, you okay with being called both. But I guarantee you, Dollars of Donuts, who you know called Becky all their life and now they okay with being called Judith. Who you know? But this is what we're supposed to do, right? So we're going to look like it. We're going to act like it. We're going to play the game. That's what these people want want me to do. I need a place to live. I need a, I need a family. Let's make it happen. I mean, and isn't this what I'm supposed to do? Or aren't I supposed to just stop being Alexis right now and become Kamaya? Like, isn't that what I'm supposed to do, you know, that's a separate struggle within itself. You work a job for 19 years and you pushing a button on the right for eight hours a day. And then you come in one day and the, and the man tell you, you need to pull the lever at the top. I guarantee you're going to go push that lever on the right. Um, a million times before you remember and get it in your head that you need to be pulling the lever above you. I mean, it's just, it, 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 it's not an easy thing to accomplish. I don't think her family definitely were equipped. I feel like they feel entitled in terms of, um, we were we were the ones that were wrong. We were the ones that the crime was, you know, committed on. We, they, she took our baby. She took our child. This is, her name is not Alexis. Her name is Kamaya. This is what I'm saying. When I mentioned in Beautiful Souls Live, it reminded me of King Solomon because even when it's not fair, even when you are right, you are correct, you are absolutely not in it to blame in this situation at all, meaning the bio mom. You still have to be her mom. You still have to sacrifice your feelings and what you know to be right and what you know to be fair for you and your family, you still have to sacrifice that and be her mom. I think they should never have called her Kamaya until she said, please stop calling me Alexis. Please start calling me Kamaya. They don't know the girl. All they know it was from eight days is in the span of eight days. She was stolen at eight days old. And even though it's a dagger in the heart, that this woman who stole her knows her better than you and you gave birth to you carried her for nine months and gave birth to her and knows her better. And she chooses her over you. You still have to sacrifice and do what's best for your daughter. You still got to be her mom. Which means... Uh, maybe she should have had a transition period instead of leaving there and now you come in here, you're going to live here, you're going to stay here for a while and now we just going to all... No, she should have had a transition place in there. Now, that young lady that was kidnapped, the Caucasian lady, I think her last name was Smart, um, she was kidnapped for that long period of time and completely indoctrinated into that family. I'm going to tell you something. The resources that were poured out on that young lady obviously were not poured out on Kamaya Mobley, Alexis. Obviously, they were not poured out on Alexis because she went from one situation, it looks like, to the next situation with absolutely no medium ground. No medium ground whatsoever. And because her bio family is not necessarily of the background where they had the resources or the wherewithal or the know-how to say, no, 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 we need to do things a certain way or let's bring an expert in that can help us do things a certain way. When you see that live that, that 
um, Alexis's father is doing um, to kind of rebut all the things that was said and done in during the Fix My Life. You can you can just tell you can just tell that these are basic people. Like, you know, when they were saying, you don't wrap somebody up in a cocoon and they 19 years old. Like, you know, you don't even have a good fundamental understanding of what it takes to to delve into the psyche of someone who has been kidnapped and indoctrinated in whatever fashion. And now you expect them to just deal with it. Now you expect them to just be able to cope with it. Or the fact that they're saying, I'm dealing with it, I'm coping with it. And you say, okay, well, she seemed good. She seems fine. She, she's okay with me calling her Kamaya. She seems like she's okay with the... She doesn't mean that she wants to see her kidnapper again. She doesn't really mean that. Like, she's just saying that because, like, the same coping mechanism she's using, her bio's family is you. Her bio family is using you know, all, they both have this really limited education in terms of what it takes to delve into a situation like this. Um, I do feel like some of the things that she said to Iyanla, the way she talked to Iyanla, she didn't just learn that, you guys. That's something she has, she has had some practice with. And it probably wasn't just with chicks at school, in the, in the bathroom, at, at second period. It kind of looked like maybe this girl was brought up in an environment where, you know what I'm saying, this is how it was handled. The way she smushed that boyfriend in the face. I mean, he took that smushing like, like a whip dog. You know what I'm saying? Like a whip dog. Like he can take a punch. Like he can take a punch. The way she was saying that they do what I tell them to do. Dollars the donuts. Dollars the donuts. Now remember, the kidnapper mom is not going to upset her because this is all she wanted. If she wanted it so bad, she stole it. She wanted a baby so bad, she stole it. So you best cool believe she spoiled this girl as much as she possibly could. Again, who, who got the girl braces? Okay, <clears throat> spoil this girl as much as she could. So she probably been running over a mama for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like like a lot of spoiled teenagers do. But this anger, this aggression, they do what I tell them to do. That is a clear sign of someone who 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 sees her positioning as power. Okay, and and at the same time, she's losing power because Iyanla is very powerful. When you meet another force like that. You used to being in charge. Now, this woman thinks she in charge. You know what I'm saying? You was losing power. That's where the angle came from. You felt like, oh, I'm not in control anymore. Okay? It's very elementary. It doesn't, it doesn't really take a whole, whole lot to see that her losing control in that moment, not having control over the people that she's had control over for this certain amount of time. She can't talk to bio mom uh, because bio mom is probably over her. All right, you just dropped in the middle of the situation. You thought she was going to be your little girl. She's not your little girl. She's a grown woman. She's already been reared. It's not right. It's unfortunate, but she's already been reared. Okay. Um, you know, bio mom wasn't hearing from her, and she can't call the woman that the, the kidnapping mom because kidnapping mom in jail. You know, you left her in a place where she felt like she didn't have anybody. All the people that she do have, she don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, I thought about King Solomon because the greater um, issue is, to me, the bio mom should have. You've already been without her 19 years. You have. What is what is a little longer stepping back and putting your hands up and saying, I'm going to let her tell me what it is she wants from me, what it is she needs from me. Instead of forcing her to be Kamaya, my daughter, do what I tell you to do. Jump, drop you in the middle of this family. We all going to be, a, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's too much for anybody. If what Iyanla was doing was too much, what the bio family was doing was too much. All of it is too much. Let the girl breathe. Let the girl get out there and breathe and come to some realizations for herself. 
okay she has zero life experience all the life experience she has she's gotten it from a life that she found out was a complete fraud technically that's all I have to say on this situation. I wanted to get that out there. I wanted to say it because I feel like there's a lot of different extenuating conversations going on about it. And I think it, it needs to be said. Um, Alexis Kamaya would have been better served if her family had not taken her in. That's my opinion. I think they should have found a way to keep her to be her friend, to bring her in gradually, but taking her in right away and bringing her to this place where you, now you back to being Kamaya. I just, when she had never known that, never known that family, I think it was a mistake. I think she, her mom would have been better served sacrificing that for Kamaya. Y'all let me know what you think. Put it down below. Mm, mm, mm. Till next time, honeybees. Ah!